Before I start, I wanted to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an incredibly affordable online learning community with thousands of creative and entrepreneurial classes. Because I think it's in line with the video today, I recommend checking out the class Illustrating Flowers and Arranging Bouquets in Photoshop by Dylan Mirzwinski. Not only are you going to learn how to work with color, texture, and composition, but you're also going to learn great tips on how to use digital drawing programs like Photoshop. I love this class because the instructor lists all of the resources that she uses and recommends others, and is highly responsive to questions people have in the community section of this class. If you'd like to check out this class and many more, then use the link in the description to get a premium membership for two months, which will give you unlimited access so that you can join classes and communities that are right for you. When you support those who support me, it really helps my channel. So now, on to the video. So I love gifting plants to my friends, but I decided that a nice way to give them something homemade would be to actually make the plants out of paper. They won't die and they're super fun as a desk oddity or decoration. I'm going to be making three different plants in this video and I'm going to be watercoloring all of them. So watch till the end to see how I make all of them. The first thing I did before making the plants was to make the pots. I'll upload the template that I made for the pots as a link in the description box so that you can use them as well. But I used my Cricut machine to cut them out. You can definitely just cut and score them by hand once you have the template printed out though. You can also definitely play around with your own pot shapes, but I just made a few basic ones that are around 1 inch to 1 inch in dimension. Throughout the video, all the paper that I will be using is the Canson watercolor paper, the paint is from Daniel Smith, and I'm only using one water brush. The first plant that I'm going to make is a snake plant. I'm also not 100% sure of the names that I'm using for these plants, so if you have a better idea or are more of an expert, then please leave a comment so that I can pin it. But um, for now, for this plant, I just cut out squiggly strips and trim them to a point and then cut them in various lengths. 
I scored them down the middle and twisted and kind of turned the leaves so that they would have a more organic shape. I'm going to demonstrate this all throughout the video so you're going to see me do it, but you'll see me use different techniques for all three plants. And then all I did after was just paint them with watercolor and assemble.
my favorite plant, which is the rubber plant, or the rubber tree. I think it goes by a lot of names. But to make this one, I cut out small basic leaf shapes and scored it down the middle. And then I just massaged and manipulated the edges to have waves and depth. Then I just painted and assembled them afterwards. <laughs>
ไหมis just a basic cactus house plant. I'm not entirely sure if this was a super accurate way to create this plant, but I just went with it. I just made squiggly strips again and trimmed them to have round tops instead of pointed tops, and then cut them in various lengths. I cut the lengths in pairs and then cut one pair in half. Then I glued each half to either side of the other strip. Then I just painted and assembled everything.
leave a comment of your favorite plant. I definitely want to make a part two to this video where I make your guys' favorite plants and I'd love to see some inspiration for that. And don't forget to check out Skillshare in the description box below. Again, I honestly really recommend this platform because I use it as a student to kind of fill in gaps of knowledge that I don't have. And also, if you support those who support me, it really helps my channel. So that's all for now and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!